Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we'll be covering the concept of Chapter 18, Renewable Energy Alternatives. Firstly, we are going to be talking about Lesson 18.1, Biomass and Geothermal Energy, why we need alternative energy sources. Economic reasons, we have fossil fuels that won't last forever, we have renewables provide new jobs, our country will be less dependent on others for fuel. Also, regarding environmental reasons, renewables will decrease air pollution and greenhouse gas emission. Moving to biomass energy, biomass is materials such as wood. Manure and grain that makes up living organisms or comes from living organisms. Biomass energy called biopower is produced by burning biomass. Biomass energy can be used for heating, cooking, lighting, vehicle fuels or electricity generation. Moving to biomass energy sources, we have solid, which are wood and charcoal, manure, agricultural and timber waste, and switchgrass. Liquids, which is biofuels, we have ethanol and biodiesel. Gases, we have methane, which are landfill gases and produced by breakdown of waste in landfills. Also, we have the benefits and costs of biomass energy. The benefits that no net change in atmospheric carbon dioxide can be produced by all nations. Costs that takes away land from food crops or natural habitats, deforestation, soil erosion and desertification can result if plant biomass is harvested too rapidly. Large energy input is needed and burning biomass indoors can lead to indoor air pollution. Moving to the geothermal energy that underground heat generated by high pressures and breakdown of radioactive elements, usually accessed by drilling deep below ground, steam turns turbines generating electricity. Also can be used directly by piping hot water from its source into homes and businesses. Ground source heat pumps usually and usually use the naturally temperate soil a few feet underground to heat homes in winter and to cool them in summer. Benefits and costs of geothermal energy, the benefits that cause much less air pollution than fossil fuels, low greenhouse gas emissions, the cost that technically it's not sustainable if hot groundwater is used faster than it is naturally replenished, and hot groundwater can contain pollutants that damage machines or add to pollution. Some geothermal energy projects can trigger earthquakes. And geothermal power plants can only be built in places with easy access to geothermal energy. We are going to talk about this and much more during the week.